22 months of heated debate and arguing over whether Russia colluded in the United States election and to what extent is now over, sort of. A redacted version of special counsel Robert Mueller's report was released today and according to the report, Mueller did not find any substantial evidence that indicates the Trump campaign tried to collude with Russia. It did, however, detail various ways the president tried to repeatedly end the Mueller investigation, among other things. So after 22 months, depending on your political views, this report can be a win or a lose. Tonight, we take a look ahead at some of the possible outcomes of this investigation. ABC Force Brittany Johnson sat down with the experts to find out what happens next. She joins us live in studio now. Brittany. Well, Emily and John, the expert I spoke with, says Democrats are divided on actually how to proceed. They'll use what they found in a report as leverage, but you won't see too many attacks because, as they learned in 2018, the way to win an election is by focusing on issues and not just throwing out attacks on the president. The report is delivered. Congress and the public now getting a first glimpse at special counsel Robert Mueller's redacted report into Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. election. While finding no evidence of collusion between President Donald Trump and Russia. As he said from the beginning, there was in fact no collusion. The report states Russia did try to interfere. Morgan Lyon Cotty is with the Hinckley Institute of Politics at the University of Utah. Russia definitely tried to interfere in our elections and they want to again in the future. This will always be referenced when we talk about that issue in the future. So this will likely not die down for a very long time. On obstruction of justice, Mueller's team was unable to make a conclusion, noting if we had confidence after a thorough investigation of the facts that the president clearly did not commit obstruction of justice, we would so state. The president is taking it as a victory that there is not an obstruction charge, but a lot of Democrats are looking at it and saying there also is not an exoneration of that obstruction charge. And so we really will see both sides trying to hammer that in to voters. So what happens next now that the redacted report is released? How we move forward with any additional investigations is really up to Congress and other state's attorney generals at this point. What we know from the past is that no matter what happens, it will be very political, along with all of these, having all of these legal ramifications. Well, Democrats say this is far from a case closed. They're now calling on Robert Mueller to testify on Capitol Hill within the next month. John, back to you. 